Hi everybody. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but life has been a little busy. But I'm here now to make you one of my favorite recipes that I found on the internet from the Pound Dropper. Um, the recipe's name is Lightened Up Creamy Chicken Spaghetti Casserole. Okay, here we go. I'm going to tell you what the ingredients are. You're going to need... I just use a rotisserie chicken and just shred up the um, chicken breast without the skin on it. I got that here in this bag. And then for the sauce, you're going to start off with one can of fat-free cream of chicken soup, a can of Rotel. I got the really hot one. And then you're going to need some queso cheese, um, the stuff that you find in the chip aisle. And then and she, on her recipe, she uses the reduced fat cream cheese. But instead, I'm going to use four wedges of this laughing cow cheese. It's, this is the um, aged white cheddar one. Um, I also have used the garlic and herb one, um, which is they're all one point per wedge. So let's get started, shall we? And in this pot over here, that is going to be my pot for the pasta because we need pasta, obviously, which I'm using Barilla whole grain penne. And in this one, I have um, steaming some broccoli. You know, she doesn't add the broccoli, but I add it because it needs a little bit something other than chicken and pasta in it. So that's why I add them. So we are going to get started and I'm going to tell you what I do that she doesn't do, which is starting off, I saute onions, bell pepper, and garlic. I'm going to move my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. I just have a little bit of butter in here. Here's my onion. Here's my bell pepper. And then for garlic, I didn't have any to chop up, but this is a lifesaver. I use this a lot in just about everything that needs garlic in it. It's so easy. This one is the roasted garlic kind. It's by Gourmet Garden. You find it in the produce section over there. Um, I use it in a lot of different things. This, other than roasted garlic, they have regular garlic, they have a ginger one, and they also have, um, like herb ones like basil and all kinds of different things like that. So we're going to get this started and we're going to let it go until it gets a little bit soft. And then we're going to add all of this goodness here. stuff is a lifesaver. I forgot to tell you that you need to preheat your oven to 350 before you start all this. And if you don't have a rotisserie chicken all shredded up, you can use a crock pot, stick your chicken breasts in there, season them, and just drizzle maybe a fourth of a cup of maybe chicken broth in it and just cook it in there on low until the breasts get done. Maybe about two hours. It doesn't need too, too long in there, two, three hours at the most. And then take it out and shred it all up for your, um, your pasta. So we're going to keep it going. 
Okay, as you can see, my um, onion and bell pepper is nice and soft. Now, when you start this process, don't stop because it's going to get bubbly and cheesy and you're going to need to keep stirring all this stuff together. So don't stop once it's started. But you might need to turn the heat down a little bit. I have mine on medium. So here we go. You're going to start with your can of cream and chicken soup. And then you're going to add your Rotel with with the all the liquid in there, too. You're going to add that, too. Okay, you are going to need a half a cup of this queso sauce. I did the math on the Laughing Cow Cheese and it's four wedges for what the recipe called for for the um, cream cheese. So we're going to take four of these. Yeah, you know, it's bubbling. You're going to need to keep stirring that. I'll try to hurry up and get these out as quick as I can. <laughs> Should have did this beforehand. <laughs> I recommend you doing this in a non-stick pan because if not, it'll stick to everything. So we're just going to get all of these little wedges melted. You're going to keep stirring it until they're all melted in there. And then we're going to add everything else. Now, if you're one that doesn't like a lot of spice, do the regular Rotel. Don't do the hot one because it might be a little too spicy for you. But I wouldn't omit the Rotel because... It just gives it a little something extra for taste other than cheesiness that it really needs. So I highly recommend you doing it, but just do a less spicier version of the Rotel. As you can see, I still have little chunks of Laughing Cow Cheese still in there, so we're going to keep stirring it. But I'm going to turn it down because I don't want it to scorch on the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to turn it down to about three. 
And just like your rotisserie chicken, you can always cook your pasta ahead of time. That way you don't have to wait for it to get cooked when you do the cheese sauce. Might be a lot easier. Um, I just didn't have time today to do that. So that's why I'm waiting for my pot to boil now. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you doing that ahead of time too. That way you can just dump everything in at the last minute and don't have to worry about it. So as I'm waiting for my pasta to cook, we're going to add the chicken and the um, broccoli that I already have um, steamed. And it's already cut up into small pieces. Make sure you have a pan large enough to put everything in here because it will get a little overflown. Your chicken doesn't need to be hot when you put it in because the cheese will do that for you and then you're going to bake it in the oven afterwards. So. two cups of pasta to cook okay as you can see my pan is getting really full and the pasta is not even in there yet but we're going to season it in the meantime kosher salt black pepper onion powder garlic powder I like to always add a little bit of green parsley and I'm going to do some crushed red pepper. We like it spicy as you can tell. <laughs> we are spicy people. I really don't measure spices when I'm cooking on WW. I just never was like that. I never was worried about the points for spices when I'm cooking. Okay, my pasta is finally done. <laughs> now, it's going to be extra full, so be careful. See if I can do it without spilling anything. <laughs> I have now turned off the heat since it took a while for my pasta to cook, but we are getting there. Trust me, it's worth it. Totally worth it in the end. Okay, voila, here it is. And I didn't, it didn't drop any. <laughs> I didn't drop any, I swear. Okay, so we're gonna take a nine by 13 pan, sprayed it obviously with nine stick spray. Right. Now we're gonna dump all of that in here. <laughs> Let's see if it happens. Ugh. Smooth it out as best as you can. Okay, we've got... Okay, so we've gotten this far, but we're not done yet. So hold on one second while I get the last ingredient. Okay, last ingredient... Craft fat-free cheddar cheese or any fat-free cheddar cheese for that matter and you're going to sprinkle a third of this on the top 
of this. Mine's a little frozen still, so <laughs> I forgot I needed it. So after all of that, we're putting this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Uh, 20, 25 minutes or until the cheese and all that gets nice and bubbly. And then I'll show you how I cut it up and serve it and how many points it is per serving. All right, everybody, the moment of truth. I always cut this into eight pieces, right down the straight down the middle, and then three across just to make four on each side and it comes out to six points per piece but it's really a really hefty piece you could always cut it into more pieces and have less points for it so this is why i do the mini penne or the penne regate instead of the um the spaghetti because when you do spaghetti it's just too much to cut up it's just a lot easier for me to cut when it's little mini penne's versus spaghetti bring it over a little bit to see as you can see that each piece is a pretty good size so there you go everybody you enjoy this recipe just as much as hubs and i do because it's really really delicious and i will hopefully see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment on the video if you like the recipe and then maybe in my next video i'll do a bunch of um ww friendly products that i found so see y'all later Okay, just as an added note, it's only the hubs and I, so there's only two. As you know, I get eight pieces. We usually eat one piece, uh, uh, serving a piece. Sometimes we'll eat one and a half servings. But what I do is I take the rest of the cut up pieces, I put them in foil, and I freeze them. Yes, the meal does freeze pretty good. When you heat it up, I would just heat it up at 350 again. But don't forget to spray the pan before you put the... Um, pasta dish in the pan to heat up in the in the um, oven and it just needs to heat up enough just for it all to get warm and nice and cheesy again so you can save it for another meal when you really don't want to cook anymore <laughs> have a good day y'all